Someone was asking how I get my roses so crisp, and I'm just going to show you the way I do freeze and fuse. It may not be right, but it's my way, and it seems to work. Uh, we're going to fill this with green leaves and a white rose, such as this one, uh, to show you how I do that. And so this is a mixture of spring green and peapod green. And I just put in a little distilled water, stir it good. Okay. Right. And I like to use my little spoon and I just pick up a little and get it into the back of a green leaf by pushing it, pushing it into the recess area in the back. Oops. And again, pushing it in to that recessed area. I use a lot of Q-tips to keep the green from running into the white area of my mold. Okay, and fill it a little bit more green. And a little bit more green. It's really uh, quite wet. And you want to blot it quickly so it doesn't contaminate the other area. Okay, then take a paper towel and push it back into that area. It also serves as blotting it. Okay, then we're going to begin on the white area. It's going to add some water. I've got quite a bit here because I plan on doing several. Okay, and I like it a little bit soupy to do the bottom. So we'll take some of the soupy and we'll put right down into that area. And then I take my finger and push it way in. Okay, again, a little bit of the soupy part. Okay, these leaves are undercut some, so you pull the mold back and push it into that undercut area. There are a lot of undercuts on the roses, and I think probably the biggest era is not filling the undercuts. Again, down into that area. And we'll blot it a little bit. Okay, and if I see that it's 
beginning to run a little bit, I can quickly remove it. Okay. A little more into the undercut. And I'm tipping it for the purposes of the camera, but I would also be tipping it anyway to keep the wet from away from the green. Again, pull back and push it into the undercuts. And then I blot. Push it down into that undercut. A little green running in there. Scoop that out. And wipe the wet again. Again. Okay. Now, occasionally, I will pour off some of the water here, but when I get to the top part of the mold, I can have the mix a little thicker. Okay. And here, I can take thicker. Fill that in. And we're going to blot that. All right, and we're going to come back with a green. I think I want my little spoon for that. I really love these little spoons. And now you want to separate this mold so that you get back into the recesses of that leaf. And I think that one looks pretty good. And let's see, a little bit more over here. Got sloppy there. It's okay. And we're going to put this down and blot really good. Press really hard. Blot again.
I like these roses to sit down flat, so I'm carefully going to add just a little white right here to fill in that area. It was a little recessed. And then I can just rake it over. Okay. And we'll do one more blot. And that mole is ready for the freezer. And what I'll do is try to show a photograph of the end result or the demolding. Thank you.